Hey guys, welcome to Tarsha Homestead. I'm Alex, and right now we're headed out to a potential trap out for bees. We got a message from our local beekeeping group. Somebody was reaching out because they have bees in a tree. Uh, they don't want the tree to be cut down. They want to keep the tree. And the entrance is about five and a half feet off the ground. Their primary concern is uh, mowing around the tree, having kids around, um, and they're just wanting these bees relocated out of the tree. So I'm gonna go have a look. I have never done a trap out. I may not even have the right equipment currently to do a trap out, but I can put something together. Either way, we need to go and have a look and see what we're dealing with and then we'll decide if it's something that we can tackle. So I'll bring you along for the journey. We'll go see what this is all about and then uh, we'll see if we can get those bees out of there. All right guys, so we're here on this trap out. It's my first trap out. So if you're watching this video looking for the do's and don'ts, probably find a different video. If you're watching this video to see what I do and maybe learn something, cool. So if you see this knot hole right here, we've got honeybees have made a home inside of there. I'm going to set up a uh, shelf on the side of the tree here that I can put my box on and then I'll put a funnel over the hole so that they can come out and not go back in. Um, I don't know how much commentary I'll do on this video while I'm doing this work mainly because I've never done it before so I want to kind of focus um, but follow along and we'll see what we can figure out. Here's my cone. It's like a one-way valve. They can come out, but they can't ever find their way back in because they're busy down here trying to get into the hive. Let's go ahead and get this fitted.
me set the camera up too so it can see it. So I screwed that funnel all around the outside of the hole so that they can't get back in around the funnel. And the hope is that as they come out of the funnel, they can't get back in. And then they'll smell the lemongrass oil on the hive box and they'll go inside there. Not a lot of activity. I kind of hope to smoke them a little bit. Hindsight being what it is, smoking them didn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense here. It was below 50 degrees, so the bees were probably clustered inside. And as I smoked them trying to get them to come out, I was confused as to why they didn't come out immediately. So I smoked them a second time. Then as I saw the bees exiting, I thought, oh great, I did a good job now, they're starting to come out, except that the ones that were coming out were disoriented and falling to the ground, and they survived, but clearly I gave them too much smoke at a time when smoke wasn't really necessary and patience was really called for here. don't seem to be coming out like crazy. Um, there's a few out and about. There's one right there on the wood that I'm using for the stand. There's one on the box. But the ones down inside the... the hive don't seem to be coming out right now. So we'll just be patient come back tomorrow and have a peek and then come back in the next couple days and keep checking on them. I will create follow-up videos as I continue to go out there and check on this hive so be sure to like and subscribe and follow along to see how this trap out turns out. Thanks guys.